Our next story is something worth buzzing about. Robo bees. Now, bees are essential to people and the planet. It's a commonly known fact. They were revered by ancient Egyptians, glorified by Shakespeare, and feared by Winnie the Pooh. Love them or loathe them, you can't disagree that they're crucial to our existence. Honeybees perform 80% of pollination worldwide, which means they play a role in 90% of the world's nutrition. But here's another commonly known fact about them. Bees are under threat like never before. Stories about their declining population trickle through the news cycle regularly. Listen to these facts. Currently, one in 10 bee species faces the threat of extinction. In the US, bees declined by over 72% in the last 25 years. During the same time, over 40% of honeybees in India disappeared. This is thanks to intensive modern farming methods, also the consequences of climate change. But there's growing concern about other pollinators too, butterflies, wasps, and beetles. Their populations are diminishing drastically the world over. One in 10 butterfly species, one in three hoverfly species face the threat of extinction. So what are we doing about this pollination crisis? Thinking outside the hive, creating our own pollinators. Researchers from Finland's Tampere University have hit a milestone. They've developed a tiny robot fly. It's called Fairy. It could revolutionize farming, they say. So what will Fairy do? As the name suggests, this Fairy too can fly. Inspired by dainty dandelion seeds, it weighs just 1.2 mg. It is controlled by light such as a laser beam or an LED, which means light can be used to change its shape. And this will allow it to adapt to the wind's direction. It's a wirelessly controlled soft body robot. It is made of specific soft polymers. They're responsive to external stimuli. But it's not the first robot to use this material. In recent years, similar miniature robots have been created. These include a swimming fish and walking delivery bots they too can be controlled with light. So why is the robo bee such a big deal? Because engineers have used these materials to make similar robots walk, swim, and jump. But no one so far has been able to make them fly. The Finnish researchers do not plan to stop here. They plan to keep developing the, this robo bee fairy till 2026. They want to make improvements. They want the robot to be able to operate in sunlight. They also want it to carry sensors and GPS. The researchers say this could revolutionize farming as we know it. Millions of artificial fairies carrying pollen could be used. They will be dispersed in the wind, then steered by light towards plants awaiting pollination. It could have a huge impact on agriculture, but it's not easy as it sounds. There are challenges too, like controlling the landing spot in a precise way, making the devices reusable and biodegradable. Regardless, it sounds like fascinating sci-fi, and this is not the only robot bee in the works. Human working bees are developing their own pollinators. An Israel-based AI firm developed such robots. They can autonomously travel. They can use AI and cameras to identify plants that are ready for pollination. Then they blast air at the flowers to pollinate them. Researchers in the US are at it too. The robot revolution is speeding up. Farmers in many countries, in fact, have already started deploying these robots. It seems we are already living in the future. We thought robots could be coming for our jobs. But guess they're also going after the bees. No one knows if this is a long-term solution for agriculture or for our honey-producing friends. But for now, we think it will stick.